Hi everyone, uh, this video is a glimpse at my pick and place prototype. Um, a pick and place machine is used to assemble circuit boards. It uses suction to pick up uh, chips and put them where they belong on the, cir on the circuit board. Um, these are really high tech machines and the low end ones start at about $10,000. Uh, so I've been trying to design and build one that for about $500 that uh, can have some of the same functionality, maybe not the same speed, but still be useful to uh, student groups or small companies. So first, a bit about the mechanical construction. Um, it's a very typical CNC machine. Um, it has three axes, X, Y, Z. Um, the Y axis is supported on the X axis, so it moves with it. And the Z axis is attached to the Y axis, so when the Y axis moves, the Z axis also moves. So three motors, one for each axis, and allows you to control the position of the suction tip in 3D. Of, on the end of the z-axis I actually have a, a fourth uh, degree of freedom it's called C that allows me to rotate a part about z-axis so if you pick a part up you may have to rotate it uh, before it gets placed down on the circuit board. So this is the machine right here. Uh, this is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. And the z is down here uh, powered by this servo. It has a small range of motion about an inch and a half. Um, because the y-axis here is attached to the z and the z is attached to the y, it gives me the ability to position the tooltip anywhere in the uh, workspace of the machine. The x and y axes are powered by stepper motors here and here and the z and c axes are powered by hobby servos um, here and here. So the x-axis here, um, the rails are three-quarter inch uh, extruded aluminum square tubing. Uh, the bearings are normal roller skate bearings with a, a washer sandwiched between them, creating a, a pocket that uh, will run along the spine of the uh, square tubing. There are three points of contact. And the axis is driven by the stepper motor and an MXL pulley and belting. This is the C axis. It's rotated by uh, this servo. At the end is a blunt dispensing needle. Um, it's attached with a lure lock fitting um, to quarter 28 thread, an adapter I got off the McMaster car and made a, a bit of an adapter for the hobby servo. That needs to be improved. Um, but then the suction goes uh, back to an improvised solenoid valve and then to a modified aquarium pump um, so that it sucks instead of pumping out air. So this is a quick demo of the motion of each axis. Uh, it's going to move in uh, X, then Y, then Z, move the C around and then move Z back down. Unfortunately this camera doesn't have a macro focus so you can't see it that clearly but uh, this little routine is going to pick up the part, move a bit, rotate, put it down, uh, pick it up again and bring it back to its original location.